Hey, what's going on guys? It's Omniarch, and today I want to make a quick video uh, talking to you guys about Modern Warfare 2. That's what we are playing, as you can tell by the gameplay. I have a few games actually saved up on the computer uh, of me playing Modern Warfare 2 again, uh, and I am just so excited uh, for this game. Before we go any further, I have to apologize for looking like a... like a big toe i just look a big toe uh because i showered a little while ago and i've basically been studying and i'm taking a little break right now to record this video but i don't like the hair is not the the traditional spiky that you usually see and i'm in like just the bummiest black pajamas but anyway um besides that yeah so dude i bought modern warfare 2 for the xbox 360 um back in the day when modern warfare 2 was a big thing i played it on ps3 loved it but, like tons and tons and tons and tons of hours on that game uh, if you guys watched my first Q&A video you know that that is like one of my favorite games of all time uh, Modern Warfare 2 specifically uh, and it is definitely my favorite Call of Duty uh, I actually bid on an eBay auction for this game it was like three dollars and fifty cents I think I won the bid for uh, and then I paid like three dollars for shipping or something like that so overall um, I got this game for like seven dollars i think like total uh, and that's just crazy the case and everything was in perfect condition like everything was in perfect condition it looked like they just opened it up out of the plastic and realized that they just didn't want to play it and then put it on ebay so i was super excited to get it really cheap uh it shipped maybe it took like a week and a half or something to get here maybe maybe a week so it wasn't uh the fastest shipping but it was seven dollars so you know it doesn't really matter uh and i <clears throat> realized that i had to get xbox live again because as you guys know uh, i got rid of my one which means i didn't re renew my xbox live subscription when that ran out uh because i had ps4 so i had to renew my xbox live subscription put the disc in download the updates all that stuff hopped on and i jumped right into a full lobby team deathmatch and i was so excited there were no hacks uh there were rarely any noob tubers i only died to a noob tuber like maybe once or twice uh and it was just so crazy and i want to talk about modern warfare 2 because i i forgot like what that game even like felt like to be playing it like in like just being in that moment like in the game i just it's a totally different game than the call of duties we're playing these days one huge observation that i want to make is i feel like your your player moves faster in modern warfare 2 but you move around the map slower because you don't have the boost jumps and boost slides and things like that so that's one thing that that was like kind of weird that i had to get used to you know i had to get used to my character kind of moving like it seemed fast i think it's because one of the default classes had lightweight on it uh and that made you move pretty fast so <clears throat> Yeah, I had to get used to that, uh, and then, you know, I just had to get used to the sensitivity and stuff, um, because this, the sensitivity scales have changed over the years, uh, so I think 4 was my was the one that I settled on, I don't know, you might see me change settings in the gameplay, who knows, I don't know what gameplay I'm gonna use, but yeah, so it just felt weird, like it just felt different uh, playing this game than Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare uh, would because the, of the lack of movement and, and you know for the first two games I was actually doing terrible uh, on this game on Modern Warfare 2 because um, I just wasn't used to it. The other thing that I want to point out is just how important the the characters look in the game. I mean the, it's hard to explain but the way the maps are designed and the way that the characters are designed with the camos on the guns you can blend into things backgrounds and things like that uh and people won't be able to see you from far away like you'll be looking down size and you're not sure if that's like a person in the window or what because you're too far away uh and and the, the game just is not rendering that character uh to pop from the background you know what i'm saying so for the first few games i was actually really frustrated because i was like dude how was i supposed to know that that guy was there like there was no possible way for me to see him he was laying down in a field of grass and his ghillie suit blend perfectly in. and then i realized like this is a war game like i totally for like call of duty like yeah it's a first person shooter or whatever but like it used to be a war game like it used to be a game about like actual war and i feel like now it is a very uh like <laughs> like a playground warfare kind of it it, it feels very fiction and colorful and all this stuff and 
I don't even hate that, but I just it it's like two different worlds. Like they're totally they're totally different, uh, and it just feels different. And you have to actually play it differently. You have to play it slower. You can't be rushing as much as you would in Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare, uh, because it it's like you don't know if someone could be there. They could be hiding very well, blending in with their surroundings or or whatever. Um, and, and yeah, and the and the maps are a lot more. I don't I don't want to say detailed in the sense of would they look better because they don't <laughs> but uh, there's a lot more places to hide in maps there's there's secret uh, compartments and places that you can go where you could hide uh, and enemies just will never find you uh, and that is definitely not the case in Black Ops 3 or in any of the more recent Call of Duties I mean there's just there's no way to hide there's nowhere to hide I mean yeah there's some corners and stuff but people are going to find you eventually and uh, in Modern Warfare 2, I can think of spots in the game where, like, you would go just to call in your chopper gunner and you know that no one's going to find you there because it's just, it's so in a random spot in a corner that you have to, like, crouch to go into or whatever. Uh, and, and, like, <clears throat> no one's even going to check there because some people don't even know that it exists. So, yeah, it's crazy to think that, you know, in that game, you can actually hide places uh, that no one will ever go like it, I, I would have to show you guys a video from of what I mean um, but I know in like the airport level uh, you can go um, behind boxes and crates and stuff if you're like crouched and, and people won't find you uh, it's just it's crazy that the, the, the maps have so much to them too many places you can go um, as opposed to the newer maps for the newer games where it kind of feels very um, boxed in and you kind of know you kind of uh, you know expect to come across an enemy uh, at some point in a certain area uh, and that's definitely not the case for Modern Warfare 2 and also the guns kill so fast it's 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 so crazy to think that you know the guns used to kill so fast and the thing about that is you know like i said with the with the sensitivity differences and the fact that your character moves a certain way uh and and with the guns killing so fast you know <clears throat> you actually have to be able to aim pretty well uh in order to get the kills and i know that the recoil is almost non-existent for a lot of the guns in that game i'm not dumb i know that there's more recoil in black ops black ops 2 black ops 3 all the other games have more recoil than modern warfare 2 obviously um but because of that you can't really spray down range you know what i mean like the bullets are kind of going to go where you aim so you really got to aim on target especially if you're shooting from far away but if you do hit those shots you know it's it kills so fast i mean you could turn on people with a FAMAS uh, and it's just it's crazy how quickly you can get a kill with that gun specifically I mean you can one burst people from basically any range it's it's absolutely crazy how quickly you can kill people uh, and how satisfying it is because they just freaking drop like immediately it's, it feels so good the other thing too is kill streaks are actually like useful like if you got a kill streak, it meant something. And uh, you know, a lot of people do shoot them down now because the game's been out forever. It's been around since 2009, so everybody who's playing it now knows, like, yeah, the kill streaks will kick your fucking ass. You better shoot that shit down. Um, but you know, uh, if you if they do leave it up, you know, your Harrier can get like seven kills easy. Uh, and it's just it's absolutely crazy and satisfying to see how just how dominant you can be as a lone wolf, so to speak, in the lobby. Uh, and basically carry your team and and the kill streaks are so much fun too i mean the chopper gunner that shit was like the king of all kill streaks i have never used a better kill streak in any call of duty game than the chopper gunner from modern warfare 2 that was the best kill streak that they've ever made in my opinion besides the tactical nuke but that's kind of like a special little gimmicky thing um you know as far as like actual fun kill streaks go the chopper gunner from modern warfare 2 is hands down the king uh of, of all you know chopper gunners the black ops 2 one comes in or i mean the black ops 1 chopper gunner comes in a close second but I, it's just it's got to go to the original i mean it, it was just so cool with the thermal and you just knew you were pounding down on the map with these massive bullets that just shot so fast and and people just drop immediately it was just so satisfying so awesome uh and, and you know it you were able to get so many kills if you were able to get a chopper gunner so i've been talking a lot now about this game and, and the fact that i'm just so happy that i have it again so happy that i can play it again uh, and i'm pretty sure you guys are going to be seeing a lot more mono warfare 2 gameplay on this channel so i hope you guys actually don't mind that 
Um, I did run a poll on Twitter a, a week or two ago asking if you guys wanted me to go multi-cod, uh, and you did say you wanted to see multi-cod. So you did, you did, uh, the majority of you did want to see different Call of Duties on my channel as opposed to just Black Ops 3. Um, so if you guys weren't able to actually vote in that poll, uh, you're probably not following me on Twitter. Um, and if you aren't, you can actually click on the link below and go to my Twitter and follow me on there and you will be able to see the polls that I run on there uh, asking you guys opinions and questions on what you want to see on my channel in the future so make sure you do that if you care what goes uh, on on this channel basically but yeah so like I said super happy Modern Warfare 2 is back super happy that I can easily find lobbies they're not hacked uh, and there's just it's just such a it's such a great game and I really hope that they remake it remaster it um, maybe get rid of the one man army noob tubes uh, and basically just leave the rest the same leave the rest alone uh, update the textures and just make the game look and feel uh, make it look better but feel the same if you know what I mean uh, and I would easily pay like $30, $40 just for a remastered Modern Warfare 2 with multiplayer on next gen uh, <clears throat> without a doubt hands down I would pre-order it uh, I would buy all the map packs for sure I just I really want this game to come back but until that happens uh, I'm going to be playing it on my 360 uh, and it's super fun hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay if you did make sure you leave a rating i would really appreciate that comment down below telling me what you thought about modern for two is it the best call of duty let me know um, i'm thinking about making a video talking about why i think it is the best call of duty so if you want to see that let me know like i said in the comment section below uh, and if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button you will not regret it i promise you just kidding who knows maybe you will who knows i'm not that fucking funny i'm not that interesting let's be honest right so if you want click that subscribe button if not you might as well click it just to see you know what happens what comes next uh do yourself you know just give me the benefit of the doubt and maybe you know do yourself a favor while you're helping me out or whatever so yeah just do that uh and i would really appreciate it uh and that's about it guys so thanks for watching i'm new york out peace